then as usual, this time we're here back with a little bit more of risky business. Uh, yes, well, that's a perfect time for actually like the mellow and music to get ourselves back into a little bit of the story. Because we're on chapter eight of Frisky Business. So we literally have um, little to do with um, what we've done so far is that we've investigated the stalker clown. We've seen a single image of the stalker clown and he's fucking terrifying. And uh, Frisky and Charlie are essentially investigating a little bit further. They want to know what they can do next after staying the night at the girls' place and the person not showing up. So maybe they have to go and find more evidence. What they did find was a pair of boot prints, which might lead them a little bit closer to their suspect. I've spent the night at the girls' place without seeing the clown. The case is still wide open. You now have several pieces of evidence and some context. What do you want to tackle today? Well, of course, we want to tackle the girls, but we're going to do the outfits first. So what have we got? There's something stuck in the cast. Looks like it's part of a leaf. Hmm. What kind of leaf? It's a partial piece, so I can't say I'm 100% certain, but if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's a Serbian Arbor Vitae. A Serbian what -a? It's a small type of tree, commonly used for cemeteries and such. Hmm. Cemeteries. But again, I'm not certain. Maybe one of the girls could verify. Obviously, in the heat of the night, in the darkness of the day, we travel to the inside of the girl's house. As we begin, Chapter 8 of our Adventure. Hello again, ladies. Hey! Hola. Hi, Falco. So, you didn't see anything last night? We did not, sorry. As I was saying, we didn't see anything. Charlie did find a food trip and the two are growing well of evidence. Still not much to, but we're following up on as much as we can. So why did you stop by? Give us a use. Really? Yes, really. Can we chat in private? Okay, come to my room. So what did you want to talk about? Just some questions about the case. You know, you have the prettiest eyes. Pretty eyes. Let's pick up my detail. But of course, our character, Frisky, he is a cop on a mission. So we will just ask some questions about the case. Just some questions about the case, if that's okay. I think I've told you everything already. We chose a quest, but got nothing new out of it. We rejoin the others. Ladies, thanks for your time. We'll continue with the investigation. We'll find it. footprint of the criminal that we are hunting, and, uh, yeah, to be honest, Charlie's doing a lot better than me. That was the world's shortest goddamn chapter! Welcome to chapter 9! Inside Frisk HQ. You slept in. Sam and Charlie are in the office. Morning! You're early. Sorry. Long night. Good to see you here, though. Leave me a cup of coffee. Morning. Sorry. Long night. Good to see you. I wasn't working today, so I thought I'd stop by and help if I can. Have you guys discovered? Have you guys discovered anything else but our evidence? As a matter of fact, I believe I so. Though it's a bit of a stretch. Charlie told me about the piece of plant that was stuck in the cast and made a footprints. Reach out to the disease. Jesus. 
since she knows Bot, we was able to confirm that it's indeed Severian or her VT. It's just the line of knowledge that Charlie has. Where is he? Oh, okay, it's, it's the same kind of exception I give to any CSI episode. So let's just like say Charlie is CSI all unto himself. Thank you for doing it. You already asked her. Don't do things without my permission. Interesting. Interesting? So does that mean anything? It means that we have some search criteria. This type of plant doesn't grow in a lot of places around here. But when they do grow, or where they do grow, I'm not sure. But the cemeteries have some. Correct. How'd you know that, Sam? Well, I just remember seeing some of my dad's funeral when I was little. I remember very vividly. Oh, Sam. Sorry, I just brought back those memories. Um... Um... Property Hartfield. He's not even earth facing during an ellipses? Holy shit! So we have a starting point. Let the search begin. You and the team begin the search. You scour the countryside for any sign of the plant that was found in the cast of the footprints. Days go by. Days of nothing. The repetitiveness of not finding anything wears on you and the team. You decide to call off the search. Shit! Hmm. In every damn cemetery around. Oh, God, I'm tired. At least we can check those off the list, but let's think. What are we missing here? What are we missing here? Perhaps there's a cemetery not on the map. Well, maybe, but how do you find that out? Let me do some research. Alright then, I've got to go myself. My patrol shift is in the morning. Good luck! Keep me posted, Charlie. Um, possibility? Just throwing it out there? Where do you get the plants from before they get to the cemetery? Nursery! Go find the plants! Find the source of plants, not the where they might use them. They tend to be used in that, but they could be elsewhere. You drive out to the girls' place. You let yourself in. You hear the girls in their rooms. Must be studying. Who would you like to check in on? Um, sure. Uh, check in on Balbina. Albina cracks the door open. Oh, hi. Lucy's room is down the hall. You said I was looking for Lucy. Ah, oh, thanks. Sorry to bother you. Okay. Um, I'm not gonna flirt with you. Hi. Adios. Who would you like to check in on? I'm assuming... I'm gonna do each one of them. Just because. Hi, Falco. Looking for Lucy? Her room is down the hall. And we're checking in on Lucy. There we go. We made sure all three girls were actually alive and well. See? Smart thinking, but not a pervy thought in sight. Ha ha! No one answers. Though you can clearly hear someone inside. Hey boss, come to the office quick, I found something. Okay, I'm on my way. So Lucy's not- Wait, we didn't check on Lucy? Holy shit, man! What you got, buddy? There's a cemetery that wasn't on the map. It's up north outside of town. Great, you got the directions, let's go. Okay, but can we do this in the morning? It's been a long day. Great, if you got the directions, let's go. You're driving, right? I think I let you drive my baby. <sighs> I'm kidding. Here, you drive. Uh, alright. Cool. Okay. I don't remember there being an issue about who can drive his car previously, but I'm sure this is all leading towards the yaoi moment that we're all expecting. Chapter 10. First time we use animation in the back. What do you think, folks? You think it actually really is sexy? We should animate every backdrop from now. No, boy, wait, wait, wait. We don't have it in the budget. Well, fair enough. Okay, then. 
just this once. So how did this, how did you find this on Marco Cemetery? Well, it's part of a local paranormal investigative team. Are you serious? I'm always serious. Anyway, I just attended our weekly team meeting and I met this case we're working on. <laughs> oh, sorry guys. Shit, that caught me off guard. <laughs> I'm really sorry if that blew out anybody's eardrums. Anyway, I just attended our weekly team meeting and I mentioned this case we're working on. Whoops! Just high level, no details of course. Betty, our team lead, told me about this unmarked cemetery, and now there's... that's where we're heading. Wait, back up. You're a ghost hunter? Is Betty hot? Good work. Good work! Thanks. I really think this is the place. I've said no before joining Betty's group, but now? Let's just say I've seen shit that'll turn you white. And obviously it took all the hair color out of your hair. Uh, how about a little music? Starting to sniff the mask. Oh, he turns green. Did you just sniff that? Call Samantha. We need the police. Okay, first off, stop. Breathe. Now, why do we need to call Sam and get the police involved? That mask is made out of human skin. Well, fuck me, this just escalated quickly. Uh, okay, skinning people. Not good news. Uh, also, missing girl. Now you're worried, this may be part of her face. Shit, frisky business got dark! 
Um, I thought this was all meant to be kind of like a cheery, I like hearted Klein story. Um, well, let's see what happens next. Are you sure? Is the atomic weight of cobalt 58.9? Uh, I, I don't know, but I believe I'll trust you on this one. Yes, I'm sure. About the atomic weight or that this is human skin? Just call Sam! Well, gentlemen? N21. Hey, Sam, did you bring the whole department? N21. Fine, but someone did insist on coming. <clears throat> Brisk. Oh, Brisk. I have to give him a voice. I can't give him too deep of a voice. Brisk. 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 So what kind of mess have you gotten yourself into now? Mess, on the contrary, we're just caught a very big break. Mess, I'm doing your work for you. Get down in there and have a look for yourself. Mess, on the contrary, we just caught a way big break. Show me. Okay, come on down here and take a look. Human skin. Hmm, satanic symbols. Clown mask. Very odd. But is this a crime scene? We need to test the clown mask. We need to see whose skin it is. And what do you know, kid? He knows more than all of us combined. He knows a lot more than you, Mac. Go make it. So what do you think? Let's focus. Back the mask is evidence. Let's focus. Bag that mask is evidence. I know how you to do my job, thanks. Sam, bag that mask. Get it tested at the lab. Alright. Can I still take a look around? I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> this is not an official police business. Not frisky business. Or frisky business. <laughs> if you're gonna be like that, then I don't want you to know. Okay, good. I'm getting tired of this anyway. If you're going to be like that, then I don't want your help. <sighs> okay, I'm not going to wade into this. I'm already up to my neck in other active, active investigations. You got this. You got this, Sam? I do, thanks. Darius leaves. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for all the help. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for all the help. Let's finish documenting the scene. You got it. Team complete recording everything from the scene and hand. So we've actually got like this went from actually being like a cheery, lighthearted kind of weird story that might be a little bit of a misunderstanding. Dude, this is absolutely fucked up and weird. I am not entertained, but also weird enough by this. This is strange. I'm interested now. This is about as creepy as the client from the beginning of Goddamn Broken Sword. Let's rock and roll! Inside Frisk's apartment. It's the next morning, following an eventful day. What's the plan for today? Procrastinate. You go to Melon's tonight. I need some melons, Dino. You no, know, we need to continue the investigation, man. We need to focus. We got to get the shit done. Hmm. We need to focus. Inside Frisk HQ. Ah, chapter 11. All right, guys, we're actually going to take a momentary break from this. We're going to stop because we're breaking this up. We're actually doing it. That was after it through to 10, which, by the way, because after it was tiny short, but fuck me, that was a discovery and a half at the end of chapter 10. This game just got more interesting. It's the room, but it's getting darker, and I'm liking it. So, yeah. yeah. I've got no words. Like, literally just the fact that there's actually a human skin mask sitting on the floor at the bottom of a cemetery crypt. I'm interested now. I'm actually intrigued now in the plot. Previously, this was just for the fact that, like, oh, yeah, this is kind of funny. It's weird. I'm purposely avoiding all the cheesecakey kind of, like... Uh, moments where you're meant to peek on something and get a little bit of a, a titillating butt shot or a little bit of dialogue that's going to be really funny. Or call up a girl and say someone really rude and actually let her, have her get off on it because of the bizarre writing in the story. But now we've got actual intrigue. We actually have what seems to be a dangerous situation. And we, Jenny was, we didn't know if Jenny was in the room. We could hear noise, but we didn't know she was in the room in the previous thing. I've got to tell him, I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling that Jenny the botanist is also a homicidal killer. Now, don't get me wrong. She probably just wants to wear Frisky on all over her body. That could be a different thing altogether. 
But if it is the case, she could be peeling masks and turn people into clowns. So could be that. You never know. Could be that. I'm just saying. It's a possibility. The fact that she knew where the cameras was, the fact that they actually managed to avoid getting away from there, and the fact that they haven't really reported anything previously until the other girls started to notice someone. So maybe, maybe that's just Jenny coming home. I don't know. Not going to ask it. Not going to question it. But we may have actually a little bit more of an intriguing story ahead of us further into frisky, frisky business. So yeah, um, I'm going to actually, uh, oh wait, what was I doing there? No, we're doing this. We're going back to the main screen. Ah, there we go. Frisky business! we got more chapters to do. I'm looking forward to actually playing a little bit more of that here in the channel. Visual waste has actually been a bit fun to do. Uh, I want to do more visual waste kind of games. I just, I need to build up a crap for this to with this because it, it, it's fun to do, but I'm actually realizing that I'm a very good one. So if you load out a demon, I can do a little bit like that. But outside of that, no idea what I'm doing otherwise. So yes, guys, come back and join us here for a little bit more frisky business very soon on the channel. It's not going to be that long before I record another episode. Like I said, we're on chapter 10 now. I'm just kind of hammer on. A couple of other times. Now we have an opportunity to have a great one. So, uh, if you enjoyed this, then hit the subscribe button up in the corner. You're more willing to do so. But if I don't hit the subscribe button, it goes down to whatever it goes. But uh, at least do some comment. Say that you actually enjoyed it. Say if you didn't enjoy it. Talk about it. I would be curious to know whether or not you enjoyed the enjoying the frisky business that we've had so far. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Oh, if you happen to be watching this on YouTube as well, there'll be a button up there that I wish you would hit. There's actually a recent playlist which will be the visual waste playlist. In the far corner, there will actually be a recent upload on the channel, a recent upload on the channel, and right here, right here, will be a video just for you, based on your interests, tastes, and wants and desires. We'll pick something out.